and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be trying new in snacks from Tesco. I think the last time I did a proper sit down snack test was also Tesco, but I did ask you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see next. Tesco did have the most votes, so here I am. Next time I'm going to do M&S, but that's gonna be a full day of eating, so keep your eyes peeled for that. The second top response was Sainsbury's, I think. So I'll try and do Sainsbury's sometime soon. It's been two months since I last did a Tesco one, so I've got lots of new snacks to try. I really tried to stay away from the Easter stuff, although I did sneak in one product. I just couldn't stop myself, so you'll see that in a minute. I'll also try and put prices for everything on the screen as I go. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let's start with a drink. I was gonna say I need this, but it is actually quite late in the day now. I try not to drink coffee in the afternoon, but hey ho. I've only got one drink today, and this is the Costa Coffee Frap. They did have a caramel one, and just a normal coffee one and usually i would go for the caramel but today i thought i would be different okay and i went for the chocolate fudge brownie i found these by where like the milk is Bloody hell. this has been in my fridge don't you worry smells nice okay just tastes like chocolate coffee it's really nice and thick and the coffee flavor in that is really good. Sometimes the coffee flavor gets lost or sometimes it's too overpowering. But for me, I do like to have a little bit of the coffee taste. That definitely captures it really well. I actually really like that and I wanna go back and try the caramel because I'm a creature of habit. I still really like this one and I would actually definitely get that again. Okay, what should we do next? Here we have some biscuits. Now, I think that this brand, maybe they're just new to Tesco, but all of their biscuits all said new. This is a biscuit that's filled with chocolate hazelnut. This could give the Nutella ones a run for its money. They're actually tiny. Oh, that biscuit is so buttery. Here's what it looks like inside. The hazelnut filling didn't really come through much in that bite, so I... I'm gonna one bite it so I can get the full flavor. <laughs> you see, the biscuit in that is what I was hoping from the Nutella biscuits. That's the best part. But then on this one, the hazelnutty flavor is not as good. I mean, for me, there's definitely better biscuits on the market. They could definitely be better. I'm not really excited by those. So personally, wouldn't be buying these ones again. Next thing we have, I just wanna get these out of the way because the more I think about them, the more they're giving me the ick. So these are hot and spicy cocktail sausages. They're actually marked as medium spice and the description is cocktail sausages seasoned with smoked paprika and crushed chili. So as you can eat these hot and cold, whoa, they smell. Oh no, I don't know how I feel about this. I do love cocktail sausages, so I don't know why these are giving me the ick, but they are. And well, they're really spicy. <sighs> whoa. I was not expecting that from something so small. They are not a bit of me. That is what I envision a pepperami to taste like. And I've never had a pepperami because they make me feel physically sick just looking at them. For me personally, just the texture, even though it's just a normal sausage because it doesn't taste like one, the texture's making me feel a bit disgusted. So yeah, I personally wouldn't buy them again, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who would like them. I don't know, but they're a no from me. The next thing I'm gonna try is the Milky Bar Gold gold chocolate this is just caramel flavored white chocolate i love caramel chocolate oh i wasn't expecting that this is literally the color of normal milky bar which has really thrown me off but the smell it's got a really really strong smell it smells sickening but i mean it might taste better Mm. Oh my god, I like that because you can taste the milky bar flavor. It definitely smells a lot stronger than what it tastes. It's a little bit subtle, I would say. It kind of reminds me of a gold bar. I don't know, actually. I'm a little bit unsettled about this. I feel like I'm impartial. I don't dislike it and I don't really like it. It's just in the middle. I mean, I would definitely eat the whole bar, but would I buy it again? No, it's not as nice as other caramel milk. Definitely not my favorite. The next thing I'm gonna try is the Chocolate Fix White Chocolate Light Miller Yogurt. Blue neck. I'm pretty sure I've tried the normal chocolate ones before, but I don't think I've tried any of the other flavors. And they've got quite a few now. They've got like chocolate orange, mint, dark chocolate maybe. Yeah, I'm intrigued to know what the white chocolate tastes like. Ugh. No. That doesn't taste like white chocolate at all. 
it's very boring that's all i can say what i'm gonna do with this actually is i'm gonna put it in the fridge not in the fridge of course it's been in the fridge in the freezer i feel like this might be one of them products that tastes really nice frozen but yeah i feel like it doesn't have much of a taste very basic and it's not giving white chocolate let's do something savory here we have now they do have new on them but i don't know if maybe the flavor is just new i know that these double crunch have been around for a while i just can't imagine that they didn't already have cheddar and onion but yeah these are supposed to be two times the crunch and i can't remember what i thought of these in the past they smell good oh oh my god that's a really good crisp Whenever I eat savoury things in these taste tests, I never want them to end. Not as flavoursome as like a McCoy's crisp, but the crunch, the texture and the taste are all getting an eight from me. Did any of you guys used to watch Trisha Paytas or still do whatever? But when I used to watch her, she would only eat like the folded crisps. I mean, this is a really small one, but ones where they're like double crunch. Mm. I really like these, but you probably can't go wrong with them because they are just a cheese and onion crunchy crisp but personally i would definitely buy these again next thing we have these are trifle tarts oh they're kind of falling out um here we go that's what they look like seeing as i love trifle i love sprinkles i had to pick these up so it says all butter pastry tart filled with fruity layers of raspberry jam <gasps> I just read this properly there's a vanilla flavor sponge layer in this oh topped with custard buttercream and hand finished with hundreds and thousands and raspberry jam oh yum i thought it was a little cherry on top but it's not it's just a blob of jam do i say it yeah i think i'm gonna love this unless the pastries are horrible and dry if it's like a bakewell tart i'm in these are giving me kids party vibes they also had another flavor of these and they were tiramisu so i gave them a miss can I get it out? Oh, it's just breaking. Oh, that is really good. They are putting Mr. Kipling to shame there. The flavours in that are really good. The pastry has let it down a bit. It's not as buttery as a cherry bakewell, but the overall flavours and concept are a winner for me. Let me try another bite. They're a win for me, so I would definitely buy these again. I've just closed my blinds, so sorry if the lighting's changed, but I felt like I was looking a bit washed out. Hopefully that's a bit better. Right, next thing we have to try, this also come in a bar form. I went for the buttons, because I love the buttons, but these are golden honeycomb. I bet these just taste like blonde chocolate. I can't imagine the honeycomb really coming through. Ooh, yeah, that smells exactly like the milky bar. Oh, wait, let me just quickly try another one. Oh my God, look at that, horrible. That's one of the worst chocolates I've ever eaten. Why is it giving me cat food vibes? What is that about? <gasps> I have no idea why I find that so offensive, but that's disgusting. I'm not even exaggerating. You guys have to try them and please let me know. Can't wait for my boyfriend to come around. I need to get his reaction because they are minging. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm, I'm speechless. That is really, really bad. It's not enjoyable at all. I don't know if it tastes like a coin. That is a no-go. I need to move on. I need to get that flavour out of my mind. The next thing I'm going to try, these are part of the vegan range. This Wicked Kitchen is all vegan, I believe, from Tesco. But make sure you double check in case you're buying any of their stuff. But these are maple and pecan nut bites. So it says pecan nut pieces and succulent coconut with a touch of... Of maple sweetness a deliciously soft and chewy treat i love coconut it feels very sticky what do i think this is gonna be like you know those oh oh my god wow that smells like pancakes i feel like this is gonna be like you know those macaroons with like the sheet at the bottom and the chocolate drizzled on top Mm. when i smelt it i thought oh this is going to be so sickly because the maple smell is very strong but it's actually really subtle i really like them i would actually dip these in a bit of melted chocolate or maybe put them in the fridge but yeah if you're not really a fan of coconut you definitely won't like this but for me personally i love this 
Although I would say it's nothing exciting. It's not something that I'd be like, oh, I need to buy them again. It reminds me of when I go to my mum and dad's house and I'm like looking for a snack and there's not really any options. It's kind of a plain treat. Flavours and the textures I love. Just wouldn't personally buy them again. Right, we have three products to go. And next, I'm coming at you, even though I was slagging him off earlier, with a Mr. Kipling. So these are gooey brownie bites. These are the salty caramel ones. I think they did have another one, which was just like double chocolate. Obviously, I went for the salty caramel. These are tiny. You have to be careful with these things because I always think they have a really long expiry date. But the first pack I picked up expired in two days. I was like, excuse me. And even this one expires on Valentine's Day. Anyway. Hmm. See, this is when I get to the stage when I start questioning my taste buds. I'm not vibes in. One minute. That has like a washing up liquid aftertaste. I'm not even exaggerating. Like I'm looking at that thinking, surely I'm the problem. There's no way that a salty caramel brownie bite can taste off, but it does. Even the texture of the brownie is not great. It's more of like a cake bar than a brownie bar, I would say. I don't know if I've got a bad batch. I don't know if I'm ill. They're not nice. Again, if you've had these, please leave me in the comments. I love when I slag things off that people think must be good. And then people in the comments agree with me because I'm like, thank you. Because how can this not be nice? Absolute no from me, won't be buying them again. We have two things left to go. Let's do something savory, break it up before my last one. We're ending on something sweet that I know has to be good. So if I think that that tastes bad, then we know I have been taken over by aliens. Anyway, these are the Max Crisps, but the flavour is crispy chicken. It just made my mouth water thinking about it. I envisioned eating like KFC chicken skin. Oh, I've just remembered looking at these. I tried the prawn cocktail fiery ones of these and they weren't really great. Even though they're called Max, like you can tell if a crisp is going to be full of flavour just by the colour and the colour is very tame. Like, I don't know, let's try it. Oh my god, I definitely spoke too soon with them. No colour, barely any smell. I could literally just be smelling air, but lots of flavour. It's definitely giving more of a rotisserie chicken than crispy chicken. It tastes like all the herbs on the chicken. And then a really mild taste of chicken. It kind of tastes like the smell of Christmas morning. You know when like the turkey's been cooking all night? That's what it tastes like. Wouldn't personally buy these ones again, although I would definitely enjoy eating the rest of the bag. Last item for today's taste test is the Kinder Bueno eggs. I'm not waiting to Easter to try these, sorry, I'm just not. They're giving me Ferrero Rocher egg vibes. Although they don't say new, these definitely weren't out last year. I would have remembered trying these bad boys. Very small bag. You get about seven in the pack. Probably not the best thing to eat just after eating chicken crisps. They even look exactly the same as the Ferrero eggs. I'm going to bite it in half. Oh my God. I didn't expect anything less. They've got that nice, thin, crispy bit of wafer, chocolate, the hazelnut filling. They are really good by far the best product of the day other things i love i'm not going to call them out as like my favorite ever but i did really love the trifle tarts i love the flavors i loved it was a bit different and then the cheese and onion crisps i mean it's a very basic product but they are really good but yeah these are definitely the outstanding item of the day and just like that another taste test over i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what's new in at tesco if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here as always thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next one